thank you for joining me. Uh, once again, we're going to show you a, a brief overview, an example of adding a property to the islandrealestate.com advertising site. As with uh, the addition of any new properties, we'll begin by going to the bottom of the page just to get to our login link. We'll select that, and that will allow us to enter our username and password. I've already logged in as one of the agents, and so um, I'll take us right over here to the dashboard. As you'll see, as a reminder, here's the profile section where you can edit or change your password at any time. This is the property section. We'll just take a peek at all properties, which is where you might go if you wanted to edit or change an existing property that's already on the site. You'll see the properties lay out here with title and bits of information that can be edited or changed as appropriate. Um, the properties sort here with the most recent properties at the top and the properties that had been previously loaded further down the page. You can also search uh, for individual properties here, and you can do it with putting in uh, the fewest of characters. Uh, I'll just put SFR in, as I know that's uh, one of the designations for the St. Lucia areas and its properties. And that brings up the three properties with SFR included in its title. Um, this solely looks for characters or words and titles. So if the SFR wasn't in the title, then it wouldn't bring that up. And so that's it for the All Properties in the Edit section. Um, we'll move on now because our purpose today is to show you adding a property. We will go to the Add Property section where you'll see we have a fairly clean template here. There's the Title section and this is your Content Editor where you would uh, put in the information about the property. And then we'll scroll down here and do a few of the drop-down boxes and, uh, and form fields that will complete to, to, to outline the full details on this property and helping you to sell your listings. So let's begin. I've set aside uh, some pre-configured content here from this property just to make it easier for us. We'll start by putting the title in. The title is uh, limited to 40 characters. Um, we had hoped initially to have the ability to allow more than that, but um, spacing restrictions uh, in design is what as it's limited to 40. So just so you know, uh, because we haven't locked this down at this point, if your title starts to pass this left uh, side of the font family uh, drop-down box, if your title starts going beyond that, you're exceeding 40 characters, and we'll need to help you with, um, with editing or modifying your title so it will fit on the single line that's been allocated for it. I've taken the tagline information, which is very basic. Um, it's just basically the location, but this could certainly be more information that goes down here to assist in selling the property. The content that's been loaded in here, I, as a personal preference, I convert it all to Arial. You may choose something else, but that's just my personal preference. And once we've done that, we have our headline in, our tagline is in, we put our content in the site. The content format is looking fairly good. We could tighten a little bit of this up if we wanted to. We could bold the features just to make that stand out a bit. Um, but we're looking pretty good there. So now we'll add the images. And you can choose to use the Add Media link if you wish. Or you can simply go to where it is that you have your images stored, grab them, drag them, and drop them onto your content editor. And they will start to upload automatically. Your images upload into the main image database for your account. So you'll see some other images here that don't have check marks in them that are, that are assigned to other properties. But that's just because we brought your images in to the main image account. We'll do a couple of things while we're in here, and I'll note them uh, quite specifically. The first thing that you'll want to do is select the Clear button here, which will uncheck those properties. And the reason we do that is, is because you wouldn't want to insert them all into the content area of your site. So that takes care of that. Um, just by loading your images into the website itself, um, they have already been pre-configured as a gallery down the right side of the presentation page that we'll see shortly. You don't need to do anything to create that gallery. It's done for you automatically when you bring your images into the site. So now to work specifically on this property, now that we've brought the images into the database, let's go to the images uploaded to this page. And that takes away all those extra images that we don't need to deal with. We want to do two things in here. 
One is we want to select, select our main image that will show in the search results. And I normally try to pick an image that has some, you know, nice blue sky or that aqua turquoise ocean. Um, anything that's really conducive and what you would consider to be your number one photo of the property. You put that up here in that top left position and that's all you have to do. The image that sits in this position will be the image that shows up in search results. And that's done. I selected that one for this purpose, although this one over here looks really nice as well. Um, in fact, I'm going to put that one over there. And I'm going to, then I uncheck it. When I bring it in, it has a check mark on it. I uncheck it because I'm not going to insert that image into the content section of the site. It'll be there with the gallery. But I'm going to insert another image into the content section of the site. And I'm going to choose this one. Um, I always use this spot anyways, what I'll call the number two spot, um, as being the place where I hold the image that I insert into the property. Uh, and with that check mark in there, we'll select Insert into Page. And in comes the image. Um, as I was saying there, I always put this image up in the image gallery in that selected second spot just so I know where it's at. It's purely a matter of convenience and personal preference for me. You don't have to put it there, but uh, this way if I go in to do uh, some editing to these images, I know that that image is the one that's in the page. And that's the reason I do that. Um, there's nothing else for us to do here as it relates to this part of the content. It's all looking pretty good. We're now going to carry on and fill in the other areas of the property information. So that puts in the property ID and as you'll note here we have an MLS ID and a property ID and that's just because different markets do things differently. In some markets they have an MLS system and so they'll want to use that coding. In other markets MLS does not exist and they simply have their own coding for, for their markets or for within their company. So that's the reason for that. But just fill in one of them and uh, folks will be able to find either one. We'll now continue on with uh, filling in the rest of the information about this property. I'll show you here as well as uh, part of this that um, you can put the, the community and the address information in. Uh, if you'd like the map to appear and to have it be fairly accurate to the location you're looking for, we use a, a source uh, website for uh, latitude and longitude coordinates called latlong.net. Uh, so for this we put in VG St. Lucia and it brings us to this general area along the, the VG Peninsula. And uh, we don't want to, or we haven't got the specific location for this property, and so we're just going to put these coordinates in as an example with this property. Uh, solely uh, for this video purpose and we can add in the proper ones um, afterwards and consult with the agent that manages this property. And so we just grab those and put them in here. It's just simple. And in they go. Put that over there. And that's done. And we continue on with the remainder of the information on the property. Okay, and that's the price. Currency with that price is um, U.S. dollars. Just finishing up here. Um, final bits of information here. We'll put in the AC name, which is Saint Lucia Homes. Uh, telephone number, which, and that's it. That's all the content on this property that we have for sale. You'll note as well that within this same template, um, a little bit different than before, uh, but we also have the drop-down box here for rental information. So with St. Lucia Homes, where they represent properties both for sale and for rent, you can use the same template for both, uh, for the property for sale or the property for rent. Just fill in the rental details if it's a rental property, uh, and fill in the sales details if it's a sales property. If it's both, you actually need to put the property in twice, which is the same as before, uh, because the uh, space doesn't allow for presentation of both sales and rental information. On a single on a single property page and that's it we can now uh, preview uh, what our property is going to look like just to see that we have the information in there correctly and you'll see we've got the, the headline and that image uh, from the second spot that comes in to go in with the content section of our page here's the images that I said just by loading them into the page that automatically pre-configured them as a gallery down the right side and they look great um, the one other thing that we'll just scroll down here to see we've got our content information coming in.
And there's our map, uh, which is looking great. You can folks see where St. Lucia is relative to the other islands, if they don't already know, and to be able to see the general location of this property. So that's that. Uh, that's our preview. It looks good. And so now that we're happy with that, no other changes we want to make, we can submit it for review. And the property will go in to be assigned a, an online marketing ID and just to make sure that everything's in place as it should be and it will be made live and public on the site. Um, if you want to make other changes, uh, if you submit for review and discover that there's something you missed, just edit the property and submit it for review again. It doesn't create any kind of a backup with us. It just, you know, it's still in the queue there and, uh, and we'll process it. So thank you very much and have a great day. We hope you've enjoyed this brief overview on adding a property uh, to your account. And if you have any questions or thoughts that we can assist you with, please let us know. Uh, we'd be glad to do so. Thanks very much and, uh, and have a great day and thanks for tuning in.